Hey Floss Tube, how's it going? Uh, Julicious here. Uh, no idea how long today's video is going to be. It might last a little longer than usual because I got a lot to talk about. Um, first things first. Um, just want to put this out there because I love these kinds of things and the more the merrier. So Sonia of Cat Crazy Creations is putting together a swap. Um, I know not everyone's going to have time for this or be inclined, but honestly, it makes me so nostalgic for like the um, back when I was really active on Ravelry, like the swaps we used to have and it was really fun and they're relatively inexpensive and this one's like really inexpensive. So I just want to put it out there because, you know, I'm sure Sonia would like to have more people participate and I think it's really fun. So I'm going to put the link to her video explaining it below uh, just to give you a quick um, sort of explanation of what it is. Uh, so we're all stitchers and sometimes we stitch things because yeah that looks cute and it looks quick or whatever but it you know when we finish it but it gets stuffed in a drawer and it's probably not gonna get turned into an FFO because really just it was a fun stitch but we don't really have any plans for it. So you have one of those and you're going to send it to your swap partner and your and the person who's been paired with you is going to send you a finished object of theirs and you have like two or three weeks to turn it into an FFO. You can do a pillow, you can do a no-sew cube, you can frame it, you can do a wall hanging, you could turn it into an ornament, you can put it on a dartboard. Maybe don't do that kind of disrespectful to someone else's hard work but it just popped into my head anyway um and then you know at the end you know you make a video or you take a picture and you send it to Sonia of just like what you did with this person's unwanted finished object and then you have a nice object for your home or surprise you know you have a holiday present or birthday present for somebody that all you had to do, like you didn't do any of the stitching, like most of the work someone else, someone else did, you just FFO, FFO'd it. Um, and I'm not really explaining it very well. Uh, but that's the gist. And you're going to put a couple of other things in your swap package too. But the requirements make it really, really cost effective if you have a tight budget. You can add more to your package if you want to. You don't have to. It's totally dependent on you and your financial situation. I think it sounds really fun. I'm excited and so I just wanted to let you all know in case one of you or more of you want to participate and I will put as I said, I will put the link to Sonia's video explaining it below. Okay. Um, q and A. I have two questions. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I love this. This is going to be so awesome. Neither of which are really stitchy related, but that's okay. I'll answer anything within reason. Um, Abby Bella Stitch. Hi, Abby. Asked, does Lush have any unscented products? I don't know. I did a quick Google search before I um, filmed this and they used to have a body lotion called Coco Lotion that was perfume free. Um, but when I tried to search their site, their website for it, I couldn't find it. So my suggestion um, would be if you have a Lush store in your area to go there and talk to the employees there or um, email Lush's customer service if you don't have a Lush store um, within a reasonable distance to you um, and see what they have. I know a lot of their product, like, like when you go into a brick and mortar Lush store, 
it's not like walking into say Bath and Body Works where you walk in and you're just like punched in the face by this wall of this melange of fragrances. It's not like that. Um, no offense to Bath and Body Works, but that's kind of one of the reasons I don't go in their store because it's just like, oh. Um, but I like some of their candles. Anyway, yeah, Lush is like, like the air definitely smell like it smells like you're in a soap and cosmetic shop, but it's not overpowering. And a lot of their products that do have perfume are not, they're subtle and they're also the kind of thing like, like with shampoo, for example, like my shower smells really nice for like two minutes and then it's gone. So it's not like, with the exception of like the perfumes they sell, and things like that that are meant to have a scent stay with you for a long period of time. Most of their products are like, you have a really nice five minute experience while you're getting ready and then you can get on with your day and you don't have this cloud of mango or what have you following you around. Um, I don't know if that helps. Um, I don't work for Lush. I don't really know what their regular inventory is like, but I would just recommend either talking to an employee at a brick and mortar store or emailing their customer service. Sorry, I couldn't be more of a help, Abby. Uh, question two comes from Teresa Boyer. Hi, Teresa. Boyer or Boyer? I don't know. Um, and she asked last year when Floss Tube had a little bit of a bullying problem, and I had made um, a video addressing that um, because one of our Floss Tubers, Cindy, who is Stitch and Fish, um, had been the, the, the brunt of a lot of the bullying. Um, anyway, Teresa wanted to know, like, how is Cindy doing? Have I heard from her? She hasn't seen her around in a while. Um, I have seen Cindy a lot recently on Facebook. Um, she's been on Stitch Mania a little bit, and she's been in Soulful, Soulful Stitching Sisters, um, quite a bit. Um, as far as I know, she's fine. Cindy, if you're watching, hi. We miss you on Floss Tube. Uh, yeah, yeah, as far as I know, she's okay. Now, Cindy does have a chronic illness, and she's got three kids. I think they're all adolescents at this point. Um, and it's back to school time. So I, I, I imagine she's just been busy. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, she's okay. Um, yeah. She finished her hay, that mini hay she was doing with, of the, um, like the girl with the big eyes and the snowflake and the, I don't know, she reminded me of Elsa a little bit. But anyway, she finished that and she posted her finish on Stitch Mania, I think. It looked good. Y'all who do hades have way more patience than me, I'll tell you. Uh, so those are the questions. Thank you, ladies, so much. And yeah, I like answering those, so... If you have any more questions about anything just let me know and I'll probably answer. What's going on? I have six finishes guys. Six. <laughs> One of them was a new start because I got bored. Yeah, wow. Shall we go through them? Let's go through them. Um, First one, just gonna grab from the top of the pile here. Um, my Jan Lin, all you need is done. Uh, all you need is love. Is done. And this was on 14 count black Ada with white floss. I threw away the floss that came in the kit and used B5200. It looks good. Yeah. Where do 
where I put things when I'm done with them. What do I do? What do I do? I try to make a pile there. Um, where are you? Yes. At long last, this damn thing is done. Storytime sampler is finished. Thank you so much, Brittany, for helping me out with the banner here. All done. Finally. Someday this will get framed and hung in my library, but I'm still kind of annoyed with it just for being, an, I hold a grudge with some projects. I hold a grudge. But yeah, this will eventually get hung on a wall, <laughs> probably in the library somewhere. Over there. And speaking of things that are gonna get hung on the wall in my library, Look what got done, finally. I love it so much. Master and the Macabre. So awesome. And, um, okay. I actually filmed a, a little bit of a close-up clip of this and of the finished Hardanger piece, Blue Bouquet is also done. This was a Stitch Mania start. So I'm going to insert a clip right here. Okay, so here is Master and the Macabre all finished. Um, yeah. I'm still kind of like shocked that it's done. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll get in close. So that's the top of the house. So there are several um, silks listed um, like the, the threads that are charted. I only used two because um, they were the most variegated and I thought that they would be the, the, the ones that um, I could get away with substituting DMC. Um, Oh, and I'm forgetting, I'm blanking on their names, but the one is here um, in these little patches in the roof. And then the other one is these bricks in the house and then uh, EA Po. Those are the only two I used. And I'm good with that. I think, I think it looks just fine, the rest of it, with the DMC. So... But yeah, that's it. All done. This was fun. I'm really happy with the result. And at some point it will be framed and it will go in the library. Haha. -ha. All right, let's move over here to the Blue Bouquet Hardanger that is also finished. Um, yeah, I just put this here because uh, the cut work, I think, shows up a little better when it's on a flat surface uh, instead of when I hold it up. And I found this spinning wheel charm on 123 Stitch. And I think it looks great. It fits perfectly. And this was all just uh, DMC pearls, and this is a 25 count even weave. So. But yeah, this was my. Uh, second hard anger pattern I've ever tried. Um, I still enjoy it. This took longer than I thought it would because the satin stitches gave me some issues just because I do not know how to count. 
But other than that, yeah. So happy with that. Yeah, so that's those. I just wanted to show you them closer because they're both a little, well, Master of the Macabre's a little more detailed and it's got some cool threads and I think it's easier to look at Cutwork Hardanger when you're not holding it up um, with nothing but. Okay, my phone keeps deciding it wants to cut out and not record for very long. So if this happens again, I'm going to bag it and finish this video tomorrow because I do not have the patience for this today. All right. So this was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. I'll link to the, uh, to coffee stitchers Etsy shop below. All proceeds go to his honeymoon fund. He and his fiance are going to spend their honeymoon at Walt Disney World. Which I guess sounds like fun. I'm not much of a Disney person myself, but I can see how that would be a super fun, offbeat, romantic kind of, kind of trip. And I'm sure they'll have a blast. Okay, my last finish was also a new start, and I can't show you the pattern because it's just the pattern. <laughs> um, on the other hand, it is like a free pattern so anyway I wanted to stitch something on 40 count and I wanted to you play with some uh, hand dyed variegated flosses so I did and this is so tiny 40 count is so tiny but this was just a fun little diversion this is on 40 count platinum Newcastle linen. Um, I have a lot more. This is a nine by 13. I have a lot more fabric. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Anyway, okay, so the border and the petals on the middle flower I did with Weeks Dye Works Deep Sea. The words are Jodery Designs Nevermore. The stems of the flowers are Weak Sty Works in Guacamole. Uh, this flower is Romance by Weak Sty Works. And this flower, which um, you can't really tell it's a hand dyed, this is Ginger Tom by Jodery Designs. So yeah, fun little diversion. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Might not do anything. But, you know, it was fun. So I did it. Is that all my finishes? I think that's all my finishes. Um, yeah. Whips. I only have three whips now. It, it's weird. Unsettling. This week, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this week Autumn in My Garden is up in the rotation. It hasn't changed much. I'm working on the skirt. I want to finish the skirt this week. I am so sick to death of this damn skirt. <laughs> I think I can do it this week. And then I can start something else. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool. You know, now that I'm staring at it and being like, oh yeah. But yeah, this isn't my favorite whip, I gotta say. I think just because I'm tired of the skirt. But it's a mirabilia. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty inexpensive mirabilia because really it's just, it's DMC and one little pack of beads. That's it. Um, but I'm still finishing it because it's a mirror. And you don't, or at least I don't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't UFO a mirror. Um, 
what else? I start, I don't know if I've shown you this. It's been a while. I've had to, you remember, because I showed you in my birthday haul, you remember I got Misfortune, right? So I've been working on that a little bit and here is progress on Misfortune so far. So the pattern's cool. I kind of like the minimalism of just the three colors, but I hate this fabric. I hate it so much. What the heck is it? It's a 32 count. Yeah, it's just a 32 count lamb's wool. It is so stiff, you guys. Like, I, I can't even begin to describe how stiff this is. Like, I put it in the hoop and I try to pull it taut. I can't get it taut enough. That is how stiff it is. Um, like, I don't hate the fabric enough. It's not going to make me, like, not finish the project. But I am never buying this wool, this this fabric again. Um, just because I like myself too much. Has anyone else ever had that problem with the... Probably you have. It's a relatively inexpensive 32 count. I can imagine that 123 Sitch dealt, sells gobs and gobs of it. But, uh, I ain't buying it no more. <clears throat> Last whip, I started it. You haven't seen this yet. I'm going to pull out the front page of the pattern that has a picture on it. Oh, come on. La -da -da -da. La -da -da -da. Here we go. I started it. Nantucket Girl Sampler. Couldn't help myself. And this is going to be fun. I actually just today placed an order for a Q-snap, and I'm going to find a Grime Guard somewhere. Um, just for these bigger pieces of fabric, you know, I feel like having a grime guard on something is going to be, um, handy. So I haven't gotten that much done. Can you even see all of it? Back here you can see. So I stitched, the first thing I stitched was sort of the middle border thingy. And I stitched the bottom line of the first part of the verse. I was going to say, a life of independence is a pleasant life for me. So, is the pleasant life for me. This is Anchor Black. I am a total, I tried Anchor Black. I am a total convert. I love it. I will never use DMC 310 again. This like, I am blown away by the coverage. It's gorgeous. Like, like I, I, I want to stand on the street corner and, like, hand people skeins of Anchor Black. Be like, try it. Try it. Um, but, yeah. Total, total Anchor Black evangelist now. Um, this is coming up in the rotation, I think, again next week because it's been way too long. And I want to play with it some more. Those are stitching whips. I haven't talked about knitting in forever. Because I haven't been doing a whole lot of it. Um, but I'm working on this pair of socks for my dad for Hanukkah. My dad has huge feet. What is this? This is a German yarn. My grandmother's going to kill me because I can't pronounce it. Onlight Supersocke. In color. Eighteen sixty-two. It's a. It's a self. Striping blue, kind of 
kind of uh yeah german yarn made in italy who knew anyway <laughs> I have one sock done and about halfway done with the other, so I'm not worried about I'm not worried about having it done in time for Hanukkah. And the holidays are all late this year, so hurrah. So one and a half socks <laughs> for my dad. And this is just a basic sock pattern that I've knit plain socks for so long that I don't need a pattern. This is just a basic, it's got a two by two rib all the way down the leg and then on the top of the foot with just basic sock in it on the sole of the foot. Um, yeah, it's, it's decent yarn to work with. No complaints. Uh, kiddo wants a new sweater. She's picked out a pattern. I was going to print it out so I can show it to you and then our printer ran out of ink. So next time I will show you both what her sweater is going to look like and hopefully a little bit of, um, you know, the actual knitting I get done on it. We still need to go to a yarn shop so she can pick out the colors she wants. Uh, but it's fun. It's a free pattern from Barocco, and Barocco has a really nice uh, acrylic and either nylon or rayon blend. And I'm normally not an acrylic person, but I've knit with that before, and it's really nice. So next time, you'll see that. I promise, promise, promise that my spinning demo video is coming. My spinning wheels drive band is all stretched out, so I need to replace it. Um which doesn't actually take that long. It's just an annoying, it just, it just, it's just getting it done. That's, you know how that can be with annoying little things. Okay. Did Q and A, mentioned the swap, showed you my knitting, showed you my finishes, showed you my whips. Um, So, I might have a new start this year, but I might not. I might wait until January. I can't decide. What do you think? I know you're all going to be like, start something. Start everything. But uh, that ain't me. So, something that I am considering starting at some point, and I'm really surprised. This phone, I swear... Okay, so, something I'm considering starting in the medium term, I don't know why, because I don't go in for this sort of thing at all. I am not a fairy person. I don't believe in fairies. I don't like fairies, particularly. Yeah, yeah, I killed Tinkerbell just now, yeah. I'm not clapping. Deal with it. Um, I don't know why, um, it just, I don't know, something about it looks fun, maybe it's the beads, I've seen a couple people stitch this already, it seems like it would be a quick stitch, it's Queen Anne's Lace, um, by Nora Corbett, which I'm not sure if it's a freebie on her website still, I have this in, this is just cross stitch April of this year, April 2016, um, I don't know why I kind of want a stitcher, but I kind of do. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have a couple of hand-dyed fabrics that I got in stitchy boxes that I think maybe she'd look cool on, like maybe this one, or maybe this one. This is an icy blue-gray. I don't think it's showing up very well on here. I don't know. I don't know. So that's a thought kicking around in my head, possibly. Another thing kicking around in my head, and I have not yet figured out how to insert a picture into my videos. If someone can help me, that would be great. I use iMovie. 
Um, but uh, heaven and earth designs. Yeah, I know, right? Totally not a heaven and earth design person. Um, but quick stitch ladybug that uh, Orietta started and D Stitcher just finished recently. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to get an like an awesome bright hand dyed and stitch that. Um, but I don't know. That's also would be a medium term thing, and I haven't decided. I haven't pulled the trigger on the pattern or anything yet. So it is a it is a it's an option. Um, something I discovered. Speaking of quick stitch ladybug. Uh, when I was looking for it on Hayes' website. Finding that is a pain in the arse. I'll tell you what you have to do. You can't search Quick Stitch Ladybug. Because you're not going to find it. The search patterns are going to pull up other Ladybug-ish patterns. It's not The, quick, the search engine is not going to show you Quick Stitch Ladybug. You have to search QS for Quick Stitch. So you'll get every quick stitch pattern on the website and then you have to go through each page until you find the pattern. That is some crap, guys. Someone should fix that because that's annoying. Anyway, just putting that out there. If you're like, I want that pattern, but I can't find it. You have to, you, you can find it. Um, you just have to go about it in a really annoying way. So those are two projects that I kind of maybe want to start maybe next year. I don't know. I am definite, I definitely have to, have to, have to, because I love it. I want to start the red and the black. Um, I might wait. That might be my new year new start, though, because it's super special. Might be. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Next time I might be like, hey, look at these other things I found that I want to start. Or I might be like, no, I've got three whips. I'm going to work on them until they're done. And then I'll start something new. Who knows? So. Finishes. You know what I do with patterns when I'm done with them, right? I give them away. I think, uh, what did, what did the lover, uh, uh, lovely array start? Like, the, which, which hashtag was it? Pass the stash? Let's pass on some stash. Huh. Oh, and of course, I'm totally unprepared for this. Fabulous. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might not be totally unprepared. Here we go. Okay, since of the six I finished, um, two were uh, electronic. The electronic patterns are not going in the Pass the Stash giveaway. But I will make a photocopy of the freebies and send them along with everybody, which I am legally allowed to do. It just says so. It's printed on the pattern. So that's, that's kosher. So what do you, what, what are the three options? The three options are pattern one is Master in the Macabre. Has been used, has not been written on. Um, the crease on the inside here, you can still see the stitches just fine. Um, yeah, it could be yours. Could be. Pattern number two is Blue Bouquet. Do you like Hardanger? Do you want to try Hardanger? This could be yours. I'll pull the... Now, 
Now when I bought this, this was both a pattern and a fabric. Obviously I used the fabric. Um, you could do this on a 25 count like it says. You could use a light blue and a white and white pearl cotton like I did. You could switch up. You, you could switch it up. You can do whatever you want. This is really versatile. Really, really versatile. Um, the instructions are here. Did I write on these? I marked the center. That's all I did. So that could be yours. And yeah, this is a Nordic needle pattern. Uh, did Ros? Rosalind want Nano? I think. Does I have this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you go to Nordic Needle, they have a whole bunch of cool hard hanger fabrics and stuff. And hard hanger fabric, especially 25 count, not that expensive. If you're already a hard hanger fan, you might have some in your stash anyway. Last but not least, it's all you need is love. Sure, you could go to Walmart and buy it, but what if you don't like shopping at Walmart like me? This could be yours. Now, this did come as a kit, so what I am going to do is I'm going to re-kit it for you. I'm going to include a skein of a DMC B5200 and some black Ada, cut to size. Because I have some black Ada in my stash and a whole bunch of B5200. So you will get, yeah, you'll get the picture, you'll get the pattern. Did I write on this pattern? Let's see. Did I write on the pattern? I did not. So what do you have to do? If you want me to pass my stash on to you, leave a comment. Number one, number two, or number three. You can ask to be entered for all three. You can only win one, you know, the usual. Um, and what else you have to do is tell me when you plan to stitch it. It doesn't have to be this year. Um, but I'm kind of curious as to, you know, what you thought of when you saw it and made you say, yeah, I want that. You're going to start it in Stitch Mania next year. It's going to be your new year, new start. Did you see that and think, oh, my second cousin three times removed would love that. I want to know. All right, so what's today? Today is September the 8th, September 8th. Thursday. Uh, I'll leave this up for two weeks. So whatever two weeks from today is, I will make a note. Drawing on, not on, drawing two weeks from September 8th. And then when I'm done filming, I will look that up and I will actually mark it on my little calendar. But if I don't write it down now, I'm not going to remember. Yeah, so that's the past stash. I love giveaways. I love doing giveaways so much. They're so much fun. Love it. I would do them every month if I could, but I can't. Is that everything? I think that might be all I have for today, guys. Um, looking around, is there anything I'm forgetting? No, I got it all. <laughs> so thanks so much for hanging out with me and um, thank you for subscribing. I've gotten quite a few new subscribers in the past month and I am so grateful that 
you know, you think I'm interesting when there are like cool people out there making videos like Coffee Stitcher and Katie and Kate and Jesse and Tracy and Emily and Claire and everybody. I feel like everybody makes videos that are more interesting than mine. So it means a lot um, that you keep coming back and that you comment. Um, I know I'm terrible at responding to comments. That's why, why I really love having the Q&A because I can feel like I can be a little more interactive and responsive. So, But yeah, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will catch you next time, okay? Peace.